science evolution brings engineering into play by focusing on what we must do to re-energize the engineering profession. It's a well-timed discussion and brings engineers into play, engineers in change, and South Africa presents great opportunities for change. So what we do in the profession, what gets designed for, and where engineers are called into the decision-making continuum. What has begun is that the engineers are starting to find amongst themselves unity. They're having conversations with each other. And now that we're getting unity in the engineering sector, with the engineering professionals, when government is ready, when they engage with us, it's easier to engage with us because there's unity in the industry. Engineers can play a, a role through regulating themselves and acting ethically to ensure that those projects that are co-implemented between them and government are implemented with integrity and according to whatever has been agreed to. We need a very high adherence to ethics. You know, ethics is the first thing. And um, we want a situation where, for example, people could be debarred, you know, for lifetime, banned for a lifetime from, from practicing. Because if you give them another chance to cheat, they will probably do it higher. We must walk away from here not just saying, well, we've had a good conference for two days and it's business as usual and life as usual. I think we as the industry, we have to take the initiative in finding this common voice and talking to government and championing a new way of delivering infrastructure. Our best bet is to start at the uh, engineering training institutions, the universities. Uh, we want to build uniform standards within SADAC, improve mobility of engineers, and ensure that we will have a SADAC accreditation uh, where the engineers are equally trained, equally tested, and have roughly the same standards and can move from country to country and be mobile so that we do not spend a lot of time uh, testing and attesting each other. We will have a system that is well structured, well accredited, and uniform in the standards that we have. The message that has come clear uh, is that engineers need to start collaborating with, with the economists, with finance, financial people, with the, with the medical fraternity and so on. So um, that message has, has come across and I found that the engineers have embraced that. I'm hoping what matters now is where do we go from here? Uh, what happens over the next, well, not only tomorrow, but what happens in the next month, two months, the next 12 months? That would be the real, the real proof.